are several ways to import RNA-seq data. In this film, we'll show the direct import and normalization of a BAM file. In addition to the BAM files from the experiment, a matching GTF file is required. Other available options are to import so-called quant.sf files or to import a raw count matrix with the wizard. First verify that it's the correct GTF file. This is indeed the correct one for this data. The next step is to define the quality and normalization parameters. The options to choose are based on your experiment and your study objectives. For this example, we decide to not discard any features. For normalization, there are three options, and we recommend the use of TMM, which considers both the lengths of genes and the RNA content of the sample. TMM normalization also includes a mathematical transformation that enables the use of statistical tests, such as the t-test and ANOVA. In this case, the data is not stranded. If all samples are in one folder, you simply select that folder and all the BAM files in the folder are listed. Individual files can then be deselected or added. GTF file is loaded and that takes some time. Then each BAM file is processed and finally the normalization is performed. Then the result is presented in a report which can be saved for later inspection. Your data is now loaded into the program. A natural next step is to load sample and additional variable annotations. See the documentation for details. Your data is now ready for the analysis step. With the optional license for the NGS module, you can also study your RNA-seq data in the genome browser or use the Fusion Gene Workbench. To summarize, RNA-seq data import is simple and requires few key presses. To learn more, visit the Kluger website.